I always said it was going to happen. From the movie Ready Player One, I said everything was turning virtual reality, but the beauty about it now is that it can manifest into physical existence. If we look at spirituality, we always speak about our energy being able to take outside, in outer dimension, things manifest faster than the uh, human uh, reality. And that's what a lot of people do. A lot of people do scripting methods. A lot of people do visualization. A lot of people do the physical hustle and grind. But actually, if we can do that in the outer dimension, which now we're referring to virtual reality, things can manifest maybe 10 times, 100 times, even a thousand times faster. That's the problem, you see. A lot of people, they always say that um, spirituality is all about uh, getting away from technology, getting away from phones, getting rid, rid of all these different things and detaching from material world. When in fact, if we are this human existence, we're this spiritual uh, being in this physical existence, then we must have a physical purpose, you see. So how do we not just in our mind, not just in uh, a, a metaphysical, be able to enjoy life? and enjoy that silence and bliss. But how can we, when we open our eyes, have the surrounding, be able to live in that abundance to actually embrace this very short-lived physical existence? My master always said that spirituality is about abundance, is about being able to experience everything in this physical consciousness also, not just in other dimension. If you look at this lockdown, it's been a prime example of this. Why? Because people, they couldn't go outside, right? So a lot of people were feeling like they were losing connection with people. Now, think about it. What did the universe manifest for us to allow us to get connectivity back again? Now, it's quite ironic, but it's technology. It brought us closer again. We're evolving right now into a whole different realm. The realm of um, uh, virtual currency, we have cryptocurrency, the world of NFTs, the world of where people are buying things, paying hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars for something that is not even physically tangible anymore. Artwork, things like that, they are buying virtually right now. Why? And you know what? A lot of people who um, have the old way of thinking are not evolving with the energies, not evolving with the universe, right? They will be left behind. That's why we must in spirituality, we must have an open mind. This is the direction that everything is going in. We need to think as a powerful spirit. How do we harness? How do we embrace? How do we learn how to evolve with the energies? How to move with the energies? And how to also be able to reap the rewards while we move forward that way. I think it's something that everybody needs to learn. Um, if, they, if, if they're going to live in this physical reality, they, they have to learn it, unless they're really thinking that they want to um, become a mountain yogi or something and, and live in caves for the rest of their life. But if they're in physical reality, they got to learn these tools. Right now, where there is meeting people online, you get to form community, you get to build businesses, you get to do new ventures, you get to even raise money for charities, right? To be able to help people, you use technology. This uh, enhances everything, it speeds everything up, right? Same thing, shopping. Shopping is there now. Uh, uh, E-commerce, everything is there. Now, moving into the world of NFTs, now, I think that the people who really are able to adapt in a situation and see this opportunity and move forward with this, um, they will be able to reap the rewards. And I just um, put all of my focus towards being able to take my conscious creators along this journey too, because I believe that 
the people with the big hearts who want to change the world, who want to make a difference in this, in this world, who want to make that impact, if they were equipped with the financial tools, the wealth, the abundance, the means to, I believe they will be the people who really change the world.